Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free toothpick. Hey, don't be mad at me about it. We just pick what's left. What's going on, YouTube? It's Willie Knox Hill, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man. We have a very, very special one on deck. An artist that I am aware of. I think it was requested in a live stream before, but I thought, you know what? This deserves a deep dive and analysis. And you know what? We've never done him on his own. So for the first time on the channel, we're going to make history and we're going to dive into the world of Prof. I've never heard this song before. This right here is none other than Fire Lessons. Two, one. This is a haunted hotel. Someone's dying today. Go ahead and test me, motherfucker. He just say this is a haunted intro. Someone's dying today. It sounds like he's walking in the studio. I hear a door closing. Yeah, I was just thinking, is it like Halloween with the way those keys hit? Someone's dying today. Go ahead and test me, motherfucker. You can address me, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Don't have step up to a motherfucker. Must be good with the lefty, motherfucker. It's been a long day for me. And tonight it got worse. Hit the sun shit low key. So if you want smoke, I'll fuck a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. you been a long day for me. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I love the smooth flows and then the cadence control coming up to down with that and that just pocket that he finds man and, and prof has such a unique sounding voice and tone already and so much personality on the track it just kind of exudes through it's almost conversational at times the sun low key. So if you want smoke I'll fuck motherfucker. Uh. you can catch me floating through your black bitch i got nice decorum <laughs> If you want my shoes, or we could run a fade. I'll fight you for them. Mm -mm. Oh, I... Right. You want to run a fade? You want you want to see me? Come out and see me then. Don't worry. You better be nice with that left. I mean, <laughs> there is no fucking around on this. My man is just straight to the point. But the thing that I love too that I want to point out is like these melodies, right? Like what is this ad lib right here all of a sudden? Oh, fuck motherfucker. Uh catch me floating through your black bitch i got nice decorum like right there woo, 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 woo. like you don't you don't have to have that is what i'm saying but i just love the way that he thinks about things from a musical perspective like hey let's just insert this ad lib melody right here and the way that he writes stuff out like he'll deliver his line and then he'll leave a lot of space let it marinate so it seems like these lines that he's writing like he's purposefully leaving breathing space in there because he knows that he's going to come through and he's going to fill it with these ad libs i would love to see like his creative process and kind of how he how he puts stuff together because he definitely really utilizes the ad libs for when he dives through if you want my shoes a wicked run the fate i'll fight you for them oh i ain't scared of anybody bitch i ain't got a is that strings that have been run through a synthesizer i don't know they're like super muddy and like down in the mix and like more atmospheric just kind of like stabbing notes I like that line. You know, I've been chased by the 12. I've had the cops come after me. I ain't worried about it. I mean, again, it's just like the cool, confident composure with the energy, right? If you want to step, step correct. And even here, there's like a couple different layers to this. I done been through hell. I ain't worried about it. And then he's got, you can hear like a lower note. I ain't been through hell, I ain't worried about it. And he's just got a nice like layering and kind of stacking to this right here. I'm guessing this is the hook, man. Wow. Man, it's got like soul. Like what is, what is this little higher pitch notes that you found right here, boy? Hmm. Section 8, favorite 
Yeah. Thanks for thinking, Kendrick Lamar. Obviously, Section 8, verified, man. My boy's just telling you where he's come from. I mean, you you look and you might see a white boy and you want to judge right away, and he's just letting you know his roots, right? Deep in my body, so till I, die. I never had blue sweat shoes. Can't lose my cool. Uh. I'm two face goons. <laughs> Blue suede shoes, two face goons. Very smooth, multi syllable right there, but makes me think of like Elvis. Like, I, I never had like a, a silver fork, right? I didn't have great opportunities. But he's singing smoothly like Elvis with blue suede shoes. And he does have, so I could see him wearing blue suede shoes though in his videos, bro. Ain't lose my cool. I roll with two face goons. Don't get it confused. Had a problem with the missteps. I was well enough from this stress. Ain't no way I pass a piss test. This just <laughs> me off this fucking shipwreck. Ain't no way I pass a piss test. I like that line, man. Obviously, the drugs flowing through that system. But this, like, again, like, the drastic cadences and, like, sort of clashing. Like, all of a sudden, he'll get smooth and melodic with it. And we're like, all right, all right, we're in this pocket. Like, we're over here. This is nice. I'm vibing to this. And then all of a sudden, woof. Nah, let me hit you with, like, a fast flow and a very staccato delivery and drop-down scheme, man. All right, so we're up over here. Can't lose my cool. I roll with two face goons. Mm. Don't get it confused. Had a problem with the missteps, I was well enough from this. Had a problem with the missteps, I was well enough from distress. See right there, it comes in, man. Say no way, I pass a piss test. Nah. This just help me off this fucking shipwreck. I was doing dirt on the tiptoe, mm. putting work with the goons in the pit bowls, throwing up on lake with the fat tip. Hit a lick, wind up in a pickle. How y'all so late? Why you on it? Hit a lick, wind up in a pickle. Hey, hey, hey! I think I had a similar line. Uh. Hit a lick and dip you in a pickle in the middle of my feast, bitch, please. Yeah, I did. That's right. Off this fucking shipwreck. I was doing dirt on the tiptoe. Put it work with the goons in the pit bowls. Throwing up on lake with the... It's a smooth scheme, man. Tip. Hit a lick, wind up in the pickle. How y'all so late? Why you on this block? Capital One. What's in your wallet? Ha. Who you playing, you fuck? Oh, I love how he's playing off the hit a lick scheme, right? So now he sees you out. You might be lacking Capital One in the famous commercial. What's, what's in your wallet? But in this case, like, he literally wants you to pass that, uh, that wallet over. Trying to get that money for a liquor store. Why did I just rhyme? Stop it. Hey, why you on this block? Tap at the one. What's in your wallet? Where you playing you from? How you be down here? Let's see if you can run them pockets. Mm. I'm way past giving a fuck. You pick the wrong damn one. If you want that third, I'ma jump you first. Motherfucker, we'll see who runs. Wow. I'm way past giving a fuck. Like, just, just the way that this man falls and cascades with his flows over top of stuff man you like you never know what's gonna come with the next line and i think that's really kind of the appeal of prof is like he just switches style so eclectically on the exact same verse like every couple bars you, you don't know if we're gonna be in like a faster rap bag if we're gonna come through with some smooth rhyme schemes if we might have some wordplay if you might sing and get melodic he could go up and down and kind of like everywhere in between man it's like organized chaos with just the delivery approach how you be down here let's see if you can find them pockets mm. on the way past giving a fuck you pick the wrong damn one if you want that third i'm gonna jump you first motherfucker we'll see who runs anybody bitch i ain't got a penny on me too many try me I swear I got a fire on me mm. I've been chasing beacon I like how the uh the cop lights flash with those stabbing notes that we talked about but yeah I mean that's mentality fire lessons I'm thinking about because when you don't have anything you got nothing to lose you're not afraid of anything right on me. I've been chasing beat down by the 12 I ain't worried about it I could give one fuck about what you gotta say. If you can leave me alone, I could be up on my way. I could give one fuck about what you gotta say. If you can leave me alone, I could. I need one more motherfucker to come and get in my space. And if anyone asks for another cigarette, then I'm gonna break your face. Like I just got booked, like you think I shook, like there ain't anywhere to sit. You heard on bears, you nerds, my fuck, I ain't scared I ain't of shit. Shit anybody. I mean, even right there, man, there's just there's a really good like symbiosis between production and what he's doing delivery-wise. Leave me alone, I go. 
Like even right there when he drops down, right? Everything kind of gets sort of drowned down in the mix. We'll call it like the Drake effect with the production. And he kind of brings you down with this cadence. And then all of a sudden, like again, it's like so much personality imbued into it. Uh, uh, and you just like can picture him like basically just jacking your wallet right in front of you. How you doing? Have a nice day. Like right here when it just smooths down. Rise. And notice how he rises now and he's like yelling out. And this is where it gets kind of conversational. Get in my space. And if anyone asks for another cigarette, then I'm gonna break your face. Mm. Like I just got booked, like you think I'm shook, like there ain't anywhere to sit. I don't care if you hurt, I'm bad, you nerds, my fuck, I ain't scared I ain't of shit. shit of anybody. Bitch, I ain't got a penny on me. I done had too many try me. I swear I got a fire on me. I've been chasing beat down by the 12, I ain't worried about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lights flickering and shit. Oh yeah, boy, I'll be out. We got like a ghost in the mix. Shout out to Ghost back there. I'll tell you what, man. If this is your first time dealing with Prof, welcome to Prof. I'm glad I could finally bring him to the channel and do kind of a um, a deep dive. I know I've titled this as a as a first reaction, and it technically is on the channel, but you know, it, it just will get it more attention and hopefully get more eyes and more people on this because I think the man has a very unique style. He's just got a very different way that that people can easily grab. And it just, it, like I said, I think it's like these constant misdirections and never knowing what's around the corner with him, whether it's the production change-ups and kind of like the funkiness to these beats and how they're like a bit eclectic in the approach Whereas he's got a very eclectic style too. But obviously, he's a very talented MC as well. Like when he wants to get into the rap bag, as he show like through some of those faster flows, through some of those multi-syllable schemes, like he can he can do that. You know, he can tick all the boxes that he needs to tick. But he's also got a very good ear for just musicality and what sounds good and what's going to work between his voice and the instrumentation itself. And just always like, yeah, just making sure that it's ear candy and that it's sweet, man, to digest. I really enjoyed this. This was Fire Lessons from Prof. You were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen here at the end. Do me a huge, huge favor. Subscribe, notifications on. It really, really does go a long way to support the channel. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. This one only Knoxville. You know I'll catch you again.